plastic. They're everywhere, from bags to cartons to bottles. It's become a staple in everyday consumerism. But the overuse of plastic is a big problem because it's toxic for animals that eat it. Now, plastics are not biodegradable, so they are not broken down to its fundamental chemicals. Instead, they can only get broken down in smaller and smaller particles that, if ingested, enter the bloodstream, leach into organs, and become poisonous. And that's kind of rough, right? And then when plastic's ingested by the fish, the chemicals that compose the plastic poisons them. And that poison then will make the fish unable to be consumed. When other animals eat the plastic, they gain weight and eventually die too from similar poisoning. In other cases, plastic packaging such as the rings for canned sodas pose a threat to wildlife like turtles as it can strangle them. Some estimates suggest each year that at least 100,000 marine mammals are killed by plastic pollution. Now this is also a reason for us to be mindful about drinking water in plastic bottles or microwaving food in plastic containers because the plastic leaches into the food causing a poisonous symptoms. But that's a little off topic and we'll save that for another video. Now in India, the problem of plastic waste is magnified because it has 1.34 billion people living in a size that's a third of the US. So there isn't a lot of places to put all that plastic waste for so many people. Now I believe the scientific term for this, if I look it up in the dictionary, is hella crowded. Now, because there's so much plastic, it actually ends up polluting the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean. Dang. Now guys, look, India is a poor country. Their infrastructure is poor and a lot of people there are poor. However, many earn a livelihood from farming or hunting. And for those people, especially those living on the coast, fishing has become one of the primary occupations. But because of the plastic in the ocean, Indians are struggling to catch enough fish. So there's a very high demand for infrastructure development like roads in India because there's so many people. And there's a lot of plastic waste. So what do they do? They use plastic to make roads. And here's how they do it. So first the plastic is collected from the sea. Then the collected plastic is then washed and sorted. Plastics that can be shredded are shredded into consistency finer than confetti. And then after that, it's melted at 170 degrees Celsius. Not Fahrenheit because everyone else uses the metric system that is not in America. What's up America? So bitumen and plastic both come from oil and so they're both hydrocarbons. And so because it's a mixture of hydrocarbons, they should mix fine in theory. That mixture is then used to build up the asphalt that's used to build the roads. And so now we're combining the conventional wisdom of using bitumen with the new wisdom of maybe incorporating plastics into it. You know, it's kind of like a brownie mix of sorts that you can't eat and that you walk all over. <laughs> and then afterwards, it's mixed with existing asphalt concrete to have the super road. And so there are a few benefits to using plastic outside of reducing pollution. So first, since plastic comes with various chemical and physical properties, depending on its hydrocarbon chain, uh, roads can be engineered to meet specific requirements depending on the climate it's in, like the weather or the wear resistance. Also, plastic roads can be built from waste plastic, the majority of which is usually put into landfill, incinerated or polluted into environment. So we'd also be reducing the CO and the CO2 that's emitted into the environment. And a lot of plastic just isn't recyclable because it's mixed with different types of plastic and non-plastic, like paper labels. But with this, we can just shove it all in and forget about it. We also end up using less asphalt and that saves the cost and resources. Asphalt concrete requires petroleum, which is becoming more and more scarce. And if we can reduce our use of it, it'll benefit the economy even more. Pure plastic roads require use of compatible plastics because when melted, plastics of different types may base separate and cause structural weakness which can lead to premature failure. Also, plastic in the roads can definitely break down into microplastics, and that can find their way into soil and bodies of water. And then these microplastics can very well then become their own pollutants. Also, indirectly, this can create a lot of jobs for unemployed citizens. So in essence, a new industry is slowly popping up in countries like India that are adopting this strategy. A variety of smaller plastic shredding businesses have risen in order to support this new initiative 
And so we see a multiplier effect across industry just by adopting this one strategy. This technique of utilizing plastic waste to build roads has already been practiced in 11 states throughout India. Some of these places include Halls Road, Etheraj Salai Street, and Sardar Patel Street. Currently, 100,000 kilometers of roads have already been built using this method. And it's a hit. Other countries are already jumping on the bandwagon. Companies like Volker's Wessels in the Netherlands and Mech River in the UK are following India's examples. The idea is that it will eventually take days instead of months to make roads. The roads would last three times as long that maintenance and traffic disruption are things of the past. And more importantly, that our oceans are free of plastic poison. You know, I think it's really cool to see how the futures of roads is centered around emptying the landfill. I think we should take India's approach to littering and adopt it to other facets of life. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.